guys, so as you can see, my hair is finally out of the cornrows. I took them out Saturday? Saturday, yeah, because I washed my hair Friday. I did what I normally do with uh, with my natural hair, and I did it in the cornrows. So I did a hot oil treatment, uh, shampooed and deep conditioned, let that dry, and then when, when I woke up Saturday, I let it... I kept uh, kept them in for maybe another three four hours to make sure they were really dry, and then I took out my cornrows and kind of see I got this. It's my braid out, I guess. So yeah, I actually just put. I just finally just said screw the edges. I'm not gonna let them ruin my hairstyle. So yeah they're still pretty thin but they're slowly slowly filling in so i was like you know what that's fine i'm gonna push my hair back because being that the braids were in my hair was already pulled back a little bit so i was like i'm gonna do my first puff and i like it so that's always a plus i'm probably gonna go back uh between like every other week getting my hair cornrowed because one yeah okay i get bored of my hair very easily and I don't want to be in it a lot. Like, even now, I'm already tempted to put the Manic Panic back in my hair. And I know I shouldn't. So, yeah, I'm probably going to just go back and forth every other week getting my hair cornrowed just so I stay out of it. Because even just the little time that it was in the cornrows, my hair has grown pretty, pretty much, pretty, uh, pretty much. Has uh, grown a, a bit just in the past uh, couple weeks, so... Yeah, that's just telling me I need to stay out of it, because, yeah. But anyway, as you can also see from the title of this video, I am also doing a product review. And this is on the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Creamy Hair Lotion. And if you guys remember, this was in my February Curl Kit. And if you saw the video of the unboxing, you know that I had no expectations for this product because of the leave-in from this line it just did not work for my hair I didn't really like the smell and then it just how it went on my hair it was just like it was weighing my hair down so when I tried this I was just like you know what whatever and I, I know in the video I said I wasn't gonna try it till I finished my other hair lotion but the product junkie in me was just like screw it I wanna try it so I tried it and I actually love it. I actually like it better than the lotion, the hair lotion I'm using right now, the uh, Pure Body. It's still a good one, but this one, I will have to say, is a lot better. Um, it's a creamy consistency, like, as the title says. So it's, yeah. It's pretty creamy, and the smell, I couldn't even describe it to you. It's like a... I don't know, it's like a weird off scent, like fruity, but not, and yeah, I don't know, but it smells really good, and once I put it on my hair, the smell stays for like freaking ever. I put it on my hair, and I um, went to go to sleep, woke up the next morning, not only did I smell it on my pillow, through my, when I go to sleep, I wear a satin wrap and a uh, bonnet. I smelled it on my pillow still. So, yeah, the scent stays, and luckily it smells pretty good. Uh, the directions say you're supposed to apply it to damp, towel-dried hair in sections. Apply to dry hair as needed for moisture. I haven't used it damp because, again, I haven't washed my hair since I've taken the cornrows out. But on dry hair, this is pretty good. It goes in easily, and it just, yeah, it just goes through, and it makes my hair really soft. Uh, my hair lotion before the uh, pure body it would stay soft for a while but then after maybe like an hour or two I'll have to like reapply more or uh, wet my hair or something to because it would just dry up or something like that so with this it keeps and I like that and I also love that it has no uh, mineral oil sulfates parabens silicone phthalates gluten paraffin Poly, po ah, polyline, polyline, glycol, PABA, or DEA. I love that. 
because I don't know if you guys kind of noticed from me I'm kind of the person who like really looks at ingredients just because of just stuff that's happened in the past and yeah so I kind of want to stay away from as many chemicals as possible or as like so try to stay more natural than anything so I definitely like this it does what it's supposed to do. I, it says on the front that uh, it conditions kinky, curly, and wavy hair, leaves curls full for body, a body and shine, and detangles and softens hair. I probably won't use this as a detangler just because I have my Aunt Jackie's, but I will definitely, definitely keep using this. I don't know, it may even be a couple staple of mine, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, I would give that two thumbs up. It is really good. It, it exceeded my expectations. So definitely try it out if you're looking for a hair lotion. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will... I'm still testing a few other products right now. Uh, it's probably another week or so. I'll come back with another product review. Maybe, maybe sooner, depends on how often I decide to wash my hair this week. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, that's about it. Um, also, I started, it's been on my mind for like ever, so I actually started a blog. Uh, I'm going to put the name of it down below. It's uh, randomlynoria at blogspot.com. I just made, started maybe like two days ago. My goal is to try to post on there every day or at least every other day, whether it be connecting it to my YouTube or actually just writing something. But if you guys would check that out, let me know what you think. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. So, yeah. Bye.